Why, hello again, folks. This is Bill with a Vulture. This is Let's Play Arab is Supersonic. I'm well into the night past my usual self-imposed deadline for not doing any more LP videos because I get stupid and start making mistakes and fall asleep while I'm talking. I don't know that I've actually done that during an LP, folks. Maybe some of those castle of the winds ones. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's uh, check out 2005 here. Oh. Boeing expects that the 747-400 production will end within the year. And Airbus started uh, selling its new plane, the A360. Oh, the TO204 is going to go out of production. Oh, the IL-96 isn't in production. That means that Gilyushin is not doing anything right now. All right. Let's have a look. Yep, they're gone off the face of the earth. Anyhow. Um... 2005, uh, Airbus did actually have the first flight of its A380, which is the super jumbo jet that they had. Now, it didn't go on sale until, I think, 2007, but, um, yeah, the first flight of the A380, super jumbo. So, let's see if this is actually, this new plane that they're, they're, they're putting out here is like the A380. It is not. It is... Oh, I see it's deal. I don't have, don't appear to have the money. I know. I just wanted to look at it. Jeez, you're really not going to let me look at it? Ugh. We don't really have any routes where that would be practical right now. But I mean, you can see what it is. It's supposed to be a very efficient way to transport a lot of people. If I had it, if I was able to make route between New York and LA, this would be the plan I want to put on it. Yeah, maybe for some of those flights in Southeast Asia, but uh, anyhow, because the range is good, not great. It's not good enough for say your long interregion or your transoceanic routes. It's not going to be good enough for those. How about thirty-seven fifty? Um, yeah, it's not going to be good enough for those. But. It's a whole thousand miles longer. Yeah, okay, so we're making less money on this route now. I'll buy a good thousand because I uh, got rid of three of those flights. Yeah. It still sucks. Vancouver to Tokyo, the interest is actually picking up. Though. Vancouver to London remains about the same. Let's see what... Uh, these routes are like. Athens is still selling out. Rome, not a sellout. It's respectable. Let's see, did they drop the prices to... No, they did not drop the prices. So, interesting. They're carrying more people than we are. Although, you know, using they're using larger planes that are not quite as full. Um, they jacked up the price a little bit. Anyhow, that's still not that bad. Uh, clearly, in terms of passenger numbers in Europe, that means that they're whooping up on us. But, um, what we can do is go ahead and get more MD-100s. And, uh, well, another MD-100, put it on the Athens route, see if that helps out. Um... Don't know that I'm ready to start any new routes. How much would it cost to get a uh, a nice route in Southeast Asia going with the 98 million that I have right now? That wouldn't get me far here. I know. I just want to see how short I would be. Come on, get over there. Yeah, I would have to wait a long time to get to any of these places. That's, ridic that's ridiculous. I mean, those aren't even long routes. They're like, oh, you will pay us every money ever. All monies will come to us. Yeah. So, I mean, okay, some, okay, Kuala Lumpur is a pretty long route, and so is Singapore. 
Let's check out Sangpore as a city. Um, that's right, it's receiving a boost in tourism right now, because all of uh, Southeast Asia is. Okay, Kuala Lumpur, not as cool as Singapore. Relations with Hong Kong actually aren't that great because it's China now, you know? This is the future when China is part, or when Hong Kong is part of China. I know, right? It's mind blowing. I understand, folks. It's actually part of China now. But, uh, anyhow. Yeah, I hate to say it, but. It may just be time to get another MD-11 or two, or MD-100 or two, and, um, actually, no way. Tell you what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to go ahead and get a 777. Like, how much is the difference in econ fuel economy, for starters? That has an economy of 60, and a seating capacity of 500. This has an economy of 66, and a seating capacity of 360. So, if you were sure that you could fill those air buses, it might be a better deal. But honestly, this has better mileage. By a little bit, not by the huge uh, range that it could be. Um, I can order a maximum of two planes. I'm only going to order one, and that'll be okay. Three months for delivery. That's all right. She's looking forward to seeing us again, folks. I knew she'd come back to me. All right. So... Let's see, what would be an appropriate next target in Europe? Um, would Madrid? Yeah, 5448. 5448 or fight. Actually, how about uh, Rostov? Its economy score won't be as oh, 12, 20. Really? I was thinking it might have been a nice Black Sea resort town, you know. But no, apparently not. Yeah, engine of industry. Wow. At least according to. Uh, at least according to the basic number crunching that uh, I would appear to be doing with um, Aerobiz Supersonic here, they're telling me that Kiev is the place to be as opposed to Moscow. I wonder how the Kremlin thinks about that. Yeah, Berlin, I'm sure, will be fine. I'm sure a lot of these other places will be fine enough routes, but they're going to be really short in Europe. Because all routes in Europe are short. Anyhow... Are there any routes in North America that we want to start? Like, I almost shudder to say it, because I know that a lot of these routes, if we do try and open them... Well, first of all, how long is Vancouver to Miami? 2010. But it's super cheap. Um, you know what, I'll go ahead and enter negotiations. Hey, we just put one plane on it, see whether or not we can turn a profit. See whether or not there are people interested in going to Miami. I mean, none of these routes are losing me money. They're just not gaining me very much. I would love for them to gain me more money. And you never know when Miami might get a boost in tourism or something like that, you know? It might benefit us. It might behoove us. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and hold off on doing anything else this quarter. Aussie is going to do more negotiation with Tokyo. Because Southeast Asia is experiencing a boom in tourism. So good for Aussie. They are hopefully making something out of that. 
Aussie is a difficult place to start in, apparently. I've never actually started a scenario out of uh, Australia. Um, if I did, I would probably do something crazy like uh, out of Perth. Um, like I used as my hub, and I guess that was what, the first scenario or the second? I forget. Um, okay. So yeah, everybody is being uh, not as profitable as they once could be. Aussie is doing a respectable job. Air Max is the one that's not getting off the ground. <laughs> um, but yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, ring out the first quarter of 2005. What else happened in 2005 that was important? Hurricane Katrina. That was 2005. Um, Pope John Paul II died and was replaced by Pope Benedict XVI. Um, this is stuff that hopefully you folks remember. Um, unless you spent the entire year in an alcohol-induced stupor. And even so, you would hopefully have heard about it, you know, in 2006. Alright, we got a 777. Sibilance. Sibilance. We are in Europa. Is getting Athens floods full, so I'm gonna swap for a a bigger plane now. A a bigger plane, and B a larger. Let's see if this let's see if this works for us. Is it okay to change the flight of shown? Yes, it's okay to change that flight of shown. Um. While I'm out and about, I'm going to go ahead and buy another 777. They'll be handy to put on my, uh, you know, London route as it continues to get bigger. I can order a maximum of two planes. I'm only going to order one, though. That's what I'm going to do. That's my job. Oh, that's what I'll do. Okay. And maybe if I start getting a good number of passengers in North America, it might scare Metlink into, uh, uh, you know, not expanding quite as aggressively out here. Um, I'm gonna go check. I remember a while back I was being told that I should check out getting the theater here because of the low price. Uh, is the price low enough that I could buy it right now? What is the theater's buy it now price? The theater's buy it now price is way out of my range. Well then. Oh, I should have checked. While I was on that screen, I should have seen. Okay, it's going to take a whole year, but more slots will be forthcoming. Alright. Good information, but uh, nothing I can really ponder on too hard. Southeast Asia continuing to experience its boom in tourism. If I'm going too quickly through these turns, folks, and you don't understand what's going on, I would recommend watching the playthrough of Scenario 1 that I did. Um, hopefully I was going a little bit more slowly and deliberately back then. Um, by this time, if you're a faithful Bobo the Vulture uh, a viewer, um, you've seen me go through this entire song and dance uh, several times before. So, really, at this point, I'm kind of just blazing through things. Um, so, yeah, I, I do feel like... I don't necessarily know that my first run-through was like a tutorial or anything, but I at least was probably taking a little bit more time to explain what was going on. Because um, at this point, yeah, I'm just playing the game to get through. Kill some things. Well, I mean, not kill things. Let's not, let's not be hasty. Let's approach this all with caution. So I made some more profits last uh, quarter. Did any of that come from Europe? Did any of it come from continuing to fill this plane? Well, I didn't fill it, but I definitely got a lot more passengers going. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to go ahead then and put... Well, wait a minute. Let's go to North America first. Go to North America. Okay, Vancouver to London is that full. Okay, Vancouver to Tokyo, still... more full. Um, Southeast Asia is experiencing a boom in tourism, perhaps. I should put this 777 on there just to see if I can get... squeeze a little bit more out of that melon. Or, uh, whatever. 
in whatever terms you want to use, folks. Let's get a flight going into Miami. Welcome to Miami. Party in the city where the heat is out. Alright, let's go ahead and put one plane on here. Um, two flights a week right now. We'll use that as the fare. Let's open the route. Opening the route. I'm hoping that I'll get some guys in there and hit the bank. Make me some bank. Yeah, I don't know. Trying to get lyrics every time and not thinking far enough ahead to be able to do that. It's tragic. It's tragically hip. Uh, let's see, 109640. Gonna go ahead and get another 777. I was predicting that that plane from uh, Airbus would be very useful for, you know. Um. Two planes, two planes, one plane. One plane, two planes. One plane. No. Two planes. Yes. That's okay. Let's do it. I was thinking I might want to buy an MD-100 instead. Um, of getting a second 777, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this. We'll see how the, uh, flight into terror, <laughs> the flight in there, uh, ends up doing for us, the flight into Miami. Flew into Miami over the, uh, summer. As, uh, some of you may have, uh, noticed, I had a video up of my vacation. In which I encountered dumb, but, well, no. I, uh, I should give that away as a spoiler. Um, but no, I was actually supposed to land in Fort Lauderdale. Apparently there was, like, just one little storm cloud floating over Fort Lauderdale, raining directly down. And they're like, well, hey, folks, we're going to Miami. I'm like, well, okay. That is the next airport down, I guess. Um, but, uh, yeah, the darndest thing. All right, I don't seem to have actually gotten very many more passengers out of that. I got more money out of it, though. Or maybe I just got the more money out of uh, those extra flights to uh, Tokyo. I'll take it either way. Um, that's not what she, Well, that's not what I said. It might be what she said. If you enjoy the That's What She Said humor. Anyways. I'm actually pleased with how that went. I'm right chuffed. Hey, Russia has joined the European community. That's cool. That means that um, maybe Moscow would be a better idea now. Oh, no, it definitely was not the Miami route. The Miami route is losing money. Nobody wants to go to Miami from Vancouver. Why is that? Is it because Miami is sort of the East Coast version of going to Hawaii? The poor man's version of going to Hawaii? I don't know. Forgive me, people, of, oh, innocent ones of Miami, if... Uh, you believe you're being characterized unfairly. Jeez. Washington flight to Vancouver to Tokyo flight is still going really well. The London flight is continuing to go on as it should. Let's go ahead and put the last plane on this route to maximize this route. And we will set that. It is okay to change that flight as shown. So, there you go. Unless I decide I want to put 747s or 7 huge D7s or something else like that on that, uh, on that route, uh, I'm not going to be able to get any more flights going there. I'm not going to be able to get any more planes going in and out. Uh, let's go ahead and add this flight on here, though. We will set that. It is okay to change that flight as shown. And, um... Lulu, barely profitable. Toronto, barely profitable. Miami, actually not profitable. Emergency. Drop the fare to nothing. Let's change that flight that way and hope that there are people in Vancouver. I mean... 
it, this is the computer. I know they had Facebook in 2005. I know they did. Some people were still on MySpace, but I know they had Facebook back then. Surely people had friends across the continent from one another. I mean, I'm not that popular, and I have Facebook friends that live in, like, Switzerland and, you know, Ireland and Canada and st stuff. <laughs> I was, I was reaching for somebody in, you know, Asia or Australia or Antarctica or something. I'm, I know I have relatives. No, no, that's true. No, I have a Facebook friend in Singapore. What am I thinking? Aha! Good save there, Bobo. Not quite. I'm going to go ahead and buy another 777. Put on the uh, route to London there. Yep. It is economical. Fits in that place. Gonna get it. I'll wait some number of months. And I don't need any more planes right now because all those little planes, uh, they're not, uh, I could do, I could do without, um, in some of these situations. So yeah. Yeah, the plane to Athens still doing okay. It's not doing as well as it was. Then. The profit margins are lower, um, a little bit lower, with the increased number of passengers. I think the profit's still higher, but the margin is a little bit narrower just because it's a less economical plane. Um, 66 against 84, I guess it was. Is that right? You folks, I'm sure, will be able to tell me, but it'll be far in the future, so I won't be able to do anything about it. <laughs> What do you have to say about that, smart guys? Anyhow, um, I'm going to go ahead and let the money rake in for this quarter. I'm going to just go ahead and put a few more planes onto the uh, London route, um, because as it is right now, I'm still not losing... Like, basically, I'm, I'm getting these planes half full, no matter how many planes I put on, which means that my profit is going up each time. Um, so until it starts to dip significantly... Um, I'm going to keep adding planes. The planes are only half full, but... Yeah. I, I think you guys see where I'm going with this. Even if the planes are half full, if every time I put a new flight on, it also fills up half full, they're still making me money. Um, it kind of... Show, I mean, it kind of, you know, determines that there isn't, like, you know, a specific finite number of people that cuts off, and I'm only, you know, serving them by filling up planes halfway full. It just shows that, like, you know, if if you had a flight that was going in, uh, you if you wanted to go someplace, and this airline only offered a flight two days a week, like, you can go there on Wednesday, and you can go there on, you can go there on Wednesday or on Sunday. Well, you know, what if you wanted to stay the weekend? You wanted to go there on Friday and then leave Monday red eye or something like that. Then you would not take that airline. That's what we're uh, that's what we're managing to offer by having more of these flights. Fourteen, I guess it ends up going down to the sort of standard of two a day, which you'll get a lot. You'll have, you know, they'll have a morning flight and an evening flight for people that have to go to that city for business. Um. Check out Mr. Businessman. Oh, whoa. Yeah, so check out Mr. Businessman. Oh, whoa. Let's see how things are going in North America. Yeah, pretty pathetic. Kind of think about it, I don't have a flight into L.A., even though it would not make as much money because it's so close. Um, I probably should open it just to make that money anyhow. Um, although... I'm guessing there must have just been some airline passenger scare that the game concocted, or fuel prices or something, because my profits are definitely way up on MetLink, so... Eh, maybe I am just being a worry ward about it. Maybe things are going Bobo Air's way, and I'm just worrying about it anyhow. But, uh, yeah, things are going well. I think that's probably what I need to do. That's probably what I should have done it long ago. I just, I think I had a phobia against doing it because last time I had an airline that started in Los Angeles, I opened up a flight to Vancouver, and it didn't do well, but that's because you're, you know, Vancouver wasn't connected to anything else, it wasn't a hub for something. Anyhow, 
that may be what we do next time, folks. It might not, but it might. Anyhow, this is uh, this is Bobo the Vulture. This is Let's Play Erebus Supersonic Scenario 4. And uh, I thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.